Suppose then for a moment, suppose that the air that we breathe in was just all pure oxygen. No nitrogen, just oxygen. Well, I'm going to make the air inside here pure oxygen. I'm going to add my concentrated oxygen, my liquid oxygen. There's just some sand in the bottom here. Okay, so now there's lots and lots of oxygen in there. And imagine you were in here, or you visited a planet where the only um, gas in the atmosphere was oxygen. So here we have a little man. Well, this isn't obviously a real man, but it's made of meat. It's a, a little sausage man. <laughs> OK. Now, supposing then on your foreign planet where the atmosphere was just oxygen, suppose that you accidentally lent onto um, uh, the, the hot plate of a cooker, for instance. Well, let's see what happens. We just added, oops, we just added uh, a hot wire here, and his leg seems to have caught fire. OK, and he seems to be burning. Well, this is like spontaneous human combustion here. OK, just accidentally lent on a bit of a fire, and he's gone up. OK, and he seems to be going up rather vigorously. I don't know if any more is going to catch fire. Maybe we can help a bit more catch fire if I add a, a bit more light. Okay. I don't know if this is a bit cruel, but let's see if we can get this arm to go up as well. All right. Oh, there we are. It's, it's yeah, I think we maybe add a bit more liquid oxygen just to be on the safe side. Oh, oh there we are. <laughs> Remember, the oxygen doesn't burn. So it's not like pouring petrol on a fire, which would be a really silly thing to do. Oxygen enables things to burn, and my poor little sausage man is definitely burning very vigorously now. So, the point is, it would not be a good thing to go to a planet where the only gas is oxygen, because everything is going to be much more flammable. In fact, it's been calculated that if our atmosphere changed by about uh, the amount of oxygen by about 10%, so if there was 30% oxygen, every time there was a forest fire, we wouldn't be able to put it out, and this would use up all the oxygen and cause for more carbon dioxide, and actually life probably wouldn't be able to exist if there was initially more oxygen. Okay, so it's a good thing that there's a lot of nitrogen that stops things from burning. I think I need to try and put him out before we all have lots of sausage smells burning and make everyone hungry. I'll put him out with some tomato ketchup. Okay. There. Perfectly safe. <laughs> OK, so nitrogen. Nitrogen is very unreactive. Okay? And this is because we have the two atoms of nitrogen held together, not with one or two bonds, but with three bonds. So this is a very, very stable molecule. It doesn't really want to do anything. It doesn't let things burn in it. It's a very stable molecule. Now, um, I've got a